Collecting data from tests, surveys, and evaluation forms can be a tedious and expensive process. Remark Office OMR, a Windows-based data collection tool, coupled with our scan-enabled multifunction devices, provides a flexible and cost-effective solution for being able to capture this data. The first step is to show your customers samples of test answer sheets, explaining that these can be created using any word processing package and printed on our MFPs. There is no need for expensive pre-printed forms which can cost anywhere from 20 to 80 cents per page. You now have the flexibility also to design the forms to match your test. Once the answer sheet is created, you need to tra train Remark on where to find the data and what to do with that data. Let's go ahead and open up the Remark Office OMAR template editor. Here I have a previously scanned test that you just saw and I've already defined the data areas. Let's take a look at a couple of these. Remark has the capability to capture OMR data highlighted in the green. You can also capture image clips in the blue and has the capabilities to capture barcode information, which would be highlighted in the orange area. In addition, Remark Office OMR has the capabilities to go to a predefined database to not only check the data that someone has given, but also pull in additional information that may reside in that database. Now we're ready to start grading and analyzing our tests. Let's go ahead and scan these completed tests out to a predefined network folder. Now let's open up the Remark Office op application and the associated template for the forms we just scanned. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and read the images that we scanned out to the network folder. Using the Read Wizard, I'm going to go ahead and point to those images where they reside on the network, and it's as simple as just hitting the Read button. Now, as you'll start to see, the tests are now being grabbed from the network, brought in, and the images captured. Right now, one of the things you'll notice is that there are a couple flags. This is where Remark Office OMR may have seen multiple images or had trouble reading the information. We could change this manually, but let's go ahead and automate this through a review exception process. the first thing they're going to do is go to the first exception that was flagged. Right now you'll notice that the student did not answer that. That's why Remark saw the blank. I can go ahead and just press enter. It'll take me to the next error. And here, student actually crossed out their original answer and chose another one. I can go ahead and fix this on the fly and continue on through all the other flags. Now that we have our raw data, let's move to the Remark Quick Stats application for grading and analyzing this data. The first thing to note is that they do have an easy grade option. Here is where I would put my answer key as my first test that was scanned and they would compare it back to that for grading the rest of the test. This enables me to use an electronic answer sheet and go ahead and benchmark my test results to state standards or course object objectives. I have a predefined answer sheet that I'm going to go ahead and use for the purpose of this demonstration. Let's take a look at the capabilities. The first thing, this test can contain more than one learning objective, as well as I can have benchmark value for the overall test. It also gives me the capabilities of predefining my answers, defining learning objectives, whether tied to state standards and or chapter objectives, and the questions that are aligned with each of those, as well as my grade scaling, and then just a review of the overall answer sheet. Once I've completed that, I can hit finish it is now going through and analyzing the data and scoring the test. Remark Quit Stats has completed the scoring and the analysis of the data. Let's take a quick look at some of the reports. The first thing that comes up is a student statistic report. You'll notice here it has gone ahead and mapped it against the benchmark that we set for the overall test. Those that are green have met or exceeded that benchmark and those that are highlighted in red are the ones that did not meet the expectations. Another great test for schools is a comparative grade report. This enables us to go ahead and compare against demographic information that may be contained in this test, whether it was on the form or some of the additional data we pulled in from our database. For example, I can go ahead and do a report and compare the teachers that all gave this test and their student performance against each other. If you look at the overall test results, Kennedy is the only one that did not meet the benchmarks. I might look at what Kennedy is doing with his class versus the others, 
as well as as I go down and look at different learning objectives, for example, response and expression, I notice that each teacher failed in meeting the benchmarks for that objective. Another test uh, report that's great to show is the detail item analysis report. This enables your teachers or your district to go ahead and look at each question, item by item, to see the performance against that question. For example, let's take a look at question two. I'm across the board in regards to how people responded to this question. I may look at why we have large populations that are answering C versus D and determine was it something the way the question was worded, is it the way the subject was taught, and now I have the capabilities with my electronic answer sheet to go back and possibly give credit for both answers. Another report I wanted to show you is the student grade report. This gives me the capability to pull a report on individual students or, or multiple students. It'll show each student and their performance against the benchmarks as well as how they performed on each question. The questions they got wrong are highlighted in yellow with the correct answers. In addition, it shows me an image capture of the actual test the student took. I have the capabilities now to be able to use this to share with the student, share with other teachers and or counselors as well as parents. Any of the forms shown here or created through Remark Office OMR have the capabilities to be able to export it out to PDF, HTML, TIFF, Excel spreadsheets to be used for other purposes. So there it is, whether it's for school tests, university research study, hotel customer satisfaction feedbacks or employee evaluations, Remark offers our customers an automated and timely manner of being able to capture data from their paper-based forms. For additional information on Remark Office OMR, go to FIT Collection Number 103574, and here you'll find customer brochures, presentations, training material, demonstration information, including some of the sample forms that were used in today's demonstration.